Hell. <coughs> Woo. What the heck was that? Hello, Promise Mom community. How are you guys doing? Oh my goodness. This video is going to be so awesome, man. I have been shopping my butt off. Please don't tell my husband. He will be upset. Anyways, I have a great video for you guys today. I'm going to be doing a very huge haul. This is going to be a very huge haul. Okay, um, I went to... Um, Ross, I went to Walmart, I went to at home, I went to Home Goods, um, I got some stuff off Facebook Market, and this isn't even all of the stuff that I bought recently. I still have a lot of stuff that hasn't been um, delivered yet from Zoo Lily and Amazon and a few other stores I can't think of right now. So I'm going to have to make another video for you guys to do the other half of the haul. Um, as you guys know, we just recently bought a house and um, it's been pretty much completely empty since we bought it. Um, we've had a few little things that we had when we moved in because we threw away everything in our previous home. We didn't want to bring anything. We wanted to start over fresh and have nice uh, fresh new things and I had a whole new thing that I was going for in majority of my house um, in my dining room my kitchen and my family room my theme is farmhouse kind of like not fully farmhouse but more of the farmhouse glam at the same time modern I can't really explain it but I'm, I'm not really into like the super super you know what is it like rustic shabby chic stuff like I, I do have a lot of those pieces but like I don't I don't see myself having my entire room filled with just all of those you know rustic style farmhouse style things so I did incorporate a little bit more of a, a glam with the farmhouse at the same time but I have noticed that families uh, people that have really large families they tend to gravitate towards those things because you can't really tell if those things get like a little nick in it or anything when you have little children. When you have like super glossy, perfect, glammy stuff, you can tell when it falls and it cracks or it has some type of little nook in it or, you know, it's, it's a little bit more dangerous when you have little children that pull things down. Having glass and stuff like that is not really ideal. So I can see why a lot of people go towards the shabby chic form house antique styled home um, because it's a little bit better to keep up with and it won't look so bad if something falls and it gets a crack it already has like 1200 cracks in it anyways but anyways okay so we're gonna go ahead and get started on this haul y'all can probably see you can see some of the things behind me this isn't everything but it's just like I could not get everything like super close to me to show you guys without having to get up and pick something up and some of these pieces are really really big so I'm gonna have to get up and show you um, I'm gonna try to remember where I got each piece from so you guys can catch some of the sales that I might have caught or if you if you you know see something that you really like and you want to you know go pick that same thing up so let me go ahead and get started I'm gonna start off with this huge sign this huge sign, it is called Farmer's Market. It is so pretty. I can't even fit the entire, oh, I can. I can fit it in the frame. So yes, this is a like tin, you know, it's like the tin aluminum, you know, material. And this came from at home, the at home store. This was my very first time going to the at home store thanks to my sister-in-law. She um, is currently um, decorating her home as well. She just um, moved, her and her husband and her kids just moved into their first home as well. And um, she wanted me to go with her to the stores and we went to the at home store and I just fell in love. Like, I fell in love with that store. I'm not sure if, you know, there worldwide or anything but i know here in houston we have a few locations but yeah so this is the first thing this is the farmer's market sign i'm gonna hang this one above uh, the doors in my uh, pantry area in my dining room so i'm gonna um, show you guys that later this particular piece was 19.99 and it was not on sale but hey i really wanted it and it's really really big so $19.99 is not too bad, you know, so, you know. Okay, so this next piece I got, this one says Farmhouse. Um, I 
and let's see if I can get it to focus. It's too light. Um, sorry guys. It's extremely light, so you can't really see what it says. But it says farmhouse, and it's like a creamy white look in the background, and then the letters are in gray, and the perimeter of the sign is like a weathered wood. So it's kind of like that, you know, shabby chic look. And I really love it. I put, I'm gonna put this in my family room above the door. Um, and this one is from Home Goods. This picture came from Home Goods, and it was 19. Okay, yeah, this picture came from Home Goods, and it was 19.99 as well. Okay, this next piece, I found a lot of these these shape pieces, but this one actually was a gift, a, a housewarming gift. This piece came from Ross, and it says. I love you to the moon and back. I'm so sorry if you guys cannot see exactly what it says. Maybe it's, you know, bouncing off the fact that I have a white shirt on as well. But yes, oh wait, maybe if I, yeah, you guys can see a little better when I tilt it down like this a little bit. And it says, I love you to the moon and back. Um, it's kind of like, it looks like wood. It looks like shiplap wood, but it's not wood at all. But it just has that, that woody, material look and i'm gonna hang this one above my tv in my family room it actually is the same exact color as my tv stand so this piece is what it, i'm not even too sure what these are called like lanterns or light holders or whatever but this came from ross this one was actually a housewarming gift for me as well um my uh god my dog my kid's godfather got me this and that sign that i love you to the moon and back he got me these two pieces from uh ross and i was like man ross has a lot of nice stuff in there right now maybe i should go and take a look and that's when i found all of this stuff that i'm gonna get ready to show you guys next i have these two bookends oh my gosh i fell in love with these so it's a king and queen bookend and this is the king this but this is a king book in and this one is the queen book in I think or is it the other way around I'm not too sure which one is king which one is queen I'm guessing it's this one because we are women and we're glammy but I don't know either way it goes I like these two bookends I'm not a fan of the gold color so I'm going to spray paint these two pieces with some silver metallic uh, spray paint and these are going to go in my bedroom on my fireplace right underneath my TV I'm going to put these and maybe put like two or three nice books in there and have this on my uh, my uh, fireplace I love these and these came from Ross and these were $8.99 a piece. And they're really a really heavy material. So, you know, it was worth the price for $8.99 a piece. I really love these book stands. Yes, this came from Ross. Okay, so this next piece came from Ross as well. Yes, I found a lot of nice stuff in Ross. And this one is one of my favorites because I actually seen something similar to this at the at-home store, but it was a little bit more expensive. But I couldn't find the top, the uh, the dome that you know you can put on top of it. I saw it in someone else's video. Her name is Be My Guest with Denise. I love Be My Guest with Denise. Her videos are awesome. I really, really get a lot of inspiration from her. And if she ever sees my videos or comment on my videos or anything, I'm just gonna be so elated because I love her videos. She's so inspiring. But this piece is, uh, I don't know if this is considered a cake stand because it doesn't have the stick but it has like the little studs on the bottom and it says thankful this could either be seasonal for the upcoming season fall you know or you know it could be all year round I'm going to probably use this all year round since it's still with my theme so you know I'm with the woodsy theme and thankful is something that I'm I am not just around you know Thanksgiving this is a all year round thing so yes I'm going to use this in 
maybe my dining room i might put it on my buffet or i may just put it on one of my uh, countertops in my kitchen but i want to get that dome to put on top of it and i might store something really cute in like some little cupcakes or something you know blueberry muffins or something in it something's gonna go in this and it's gonna be used and it's so awesome it came from ross and the price was 10.99 this was awesome. I saw, I saw something just like this at the at-home store, but it was for $20. So, you know, $10 is, hey, I need that money to go buy something else. Okay, so I got these two candle holders. They're so pretty. I love them, and they're really tall. Um, these two candle uh, pieces came from Ross. Candle pieces. These two candle uh, holders came from Ross. Okay, maybe I could show it better against the black, yeah. So this is a candle holder, and they're pretty tall, and they were $12.99 a piece. I got these from Ross, and I'm gonna put these also on my uh, fireplace in my bedroom once I get it. I'm already, you know, buying stuff for tables that I don't have yet, but hey, when you see something nice and you want it, and you may not find it anywhere else, or it's a good price, get it while you can, just store it away, and then once you get that piece, you put it all together, and boom, you got it all laid okay, out. Okay, and this beauty, this is so pretty. Like, if you guys could see the detailing, like, you can't even see it that well because the lighting is so terrible in here. I'm so sorry, guys. I did not plan on, you know, the lighting looking like this. But hey, it is what it is. We're going to get it done anyways. But this one is really big. This is a really big candlestick. And it's like a blue, Tiffany blue. And the undertone is like a silver. And it looks wood. It looks like wood. It has like the shabby sheet, you know, paint job on it. And it came from Ross. It was $7.99. I thought it was awesome for the price because it's so big. It's actually bigger than this one. This one, these both came from Ross. Now, I do, I know why they're, the prices are different because these are more of, I don't even know what this material is, but if you drop it, you'll break it because it's not glass, it's like cement. I have no idea, I can't even think of it. But if you guys know, please let me know. But it's like, it looks, it feels like, you know, a cement material or something like that. So that's why these were a little bit more expensive. And this one is more like a hollow wood material. It can probably break too as well if you drop it, but it's, it's a lot lighter. Um, that's why this is a little bit cheaper, but these are so pretty. I'm not too sure where I'm gonna put this one at yet but I still wanted to get it because it was a great price and I love the size. I wish I could have found two of them, but one is okay. I may put this on my buffet because majority of my house is like gray, white, and I like to do like different shades of blue. So I may, might put this in my dining room or something, we'll see. Okay, so this farmhouse bucket, like I've been seeing this everywhere. This is, this is one of the pieces that I bought back in March. So this is one of the only pieces that I have that is not brand new right as of right now. But I want to show you guys because um, it is a part of my theme. I'm, I have this one in my kitchen in one of the corners and I'm planning on putting some faux uh, lavender leaves in this and it's gonna be so pretty. I'm just gonna put the lavender leaves in there. This came from Walmart. Okay, so this next piece right here um, I'm not too sure what these are called, but I found this at Michael's. I love Michael's. That's one of my favorite stores as well because I am a DIY mom. I love making crafts. So Joanne Fabrics, Michael's, uh, Hobby Lobby are um, some home places that I'll never stop shopping. I find crafts, but I also find home decor and it's so awesome. This piece was original price at $29.99. That was pretty steep to me for this, you know, little piece of decor, but it was 40% off, so I could not leave it behind. I'm not too sure exactly what this is called. It's really supposed to go on a wall like this, but I'm going to hang it sideways in my family room. I have three pictures that I'm going to make into canvases of my babies when they were newborns, and I'll be showing you guys a DIY on how to make your own DIY canvases because those can get really expensive, especially when you're getting three of them. Those canvases can run you 50 to $60 a piece, um, but I'm gonna show you how to make these, these canvases for a total of maybe what 
$55 for all three of these all together so much more cheaper than what you know these places are charging for canvases but anyway so yes this piece is so awesome it was it was 40% off of $29.99 from Hobby Lobby and I think it goes so well with my theme and I'm gonna put this in my family room okay so this tiered tray um, has a little what is it like a little diamond encrusted piece at the top and then it's like a two tier tray I'm going to use this to put my perfumes on in my bedroom uh, I'm not too sure exactly where I'm going to put this at because we do not have a lot of cabinet space we do not have a linen closet so I'm going to have to really think hard on exactly how I'm going to store away a lot of things that are actually still in boxes it's July and we still have some things that are in boxes because we don't know exactly where to put it because we don't have that much storage space so but I'm I have some ideas we'll see how it goes and I'll show you guys later but this is so pretty this tier two tier tray came from the at-home store and this was $14.99 and it's a pretty nice size I really like it oh yeah in this little ring I got this as well you know little trinkets I'm always finding little trinkets it's this really big blingy you know ring I really like this and it has like a little um string on it i'm not too sure if it's supposed to be a christmas tree decoration or you can put it on anything else but we'll figure it out later but it is so pretty i just stuck it on here for now just you know just to keep it somewhere now these little picture frames i got from walmart i love them so much if i know that you know the gold old antique look is not really you know appealing to the eye but I saw this and I saw the vision for these. I got three of these and they were all $4.99 a piece at Walmart. What I'm going to do is I'm going to paint this this gold. I'm going to paint this pink and I'm going to do something in and put it in my kids' room. I don't know if I want to put like their you know their letter, the the first letter of their name in there, or if I want to put a picture of them or a picture of a unicorn or something because they're really into unicorns. But I'm going to figure that out. But I thought these were so awesome to get it was only $4.99 and I could just you know paint these pink and do something really fun with them and dress it up a lot more okay so more candlesticks yes more candlesticks so I got these candlesticks from Facebook market have you guys ever shopped on Facebook market I find so much nice stuff on Facebook market I got these two huge tall antique style farmhouse style candles for $20 for both of these $20 for both of these and they're really big and they're heavy the wood is like really really good I love these candles I only found one extra little white candle to put on top of this one I'll go get another one but I thought these was really awesome I'm gonna put these in my family room on the side of my um, my TV stand on the floor uh, because I have a really cute idea on what I'm going to do. You guys will see soon when I do my family room tour once everything is done. Okay, so to so some of these bigger pieces that you guys may not be able to see completely in the screen, I'm so sorry. This piece came from Michael's. It was original priced at $49.99, which is really expensive to me, but I got it um, for 40% off. So I, you know, I said I'll, I'll just get it wasn't too bad with the 40% off discount but you guys can't really see it that well but it's like a shabby chic um, empty frame I guess you can say it is gray and it has some white in it as well um, I thought this was so pretty and I thought it just goes so well with my theme I'm going to put this in my family room on one of the walls I have so much space so you know don't think that she is getting so much stuff on her walls her walls are going to be filled no I have so much space my family room is really really big I have so much wall space so these pieces are not going to take up my entire wall it's not going to look packed and all that good stuff so this next piece is going to be for my kids room this picture I found at Ross for $14.99 I'm not even sure if you guys can even see this okay awesome there it is so this is the uh, unicorn picture that I got from Ross it says I believe in fairies and unicorns I thought this was so 
pretty and it goes so well with uh, the farmhouse themes. Their rooms aren't really farmhouse themed, but it's okay to incorporate just a few little, you know, farmhouse themed pictures in their rooms. But yes, this is so pretty. Came from Ross for $14.99. I got this look, I got this um, table runner from Amazon. It's like, a, it's called a farmhouse style table runner. You guys can't see the entire thing, but it's a really thin gray table runner that I'm gonna throw on my table in my dining room. Um, my dining room is currently really like just bare, nothing on the table, I don't have any decorations, so um, I'm gonna incorporate, you know, my table runner and my centerpiece and get some chargers and all that stuff to decorate the table up because it's so plain. I'm so sick of everything being just like empty I'm ready to have everything done. And this huge picture, oh my gosh, you can't see. I'm so sorry guys, this thing is so big. It's so big, it says family rules. <laughs> oh my gosh, it's so big. Oh, let's see. So yes, it's, it's really big. It has like a faux wood material around and it has like this cream burlap material with gray and blue writing well really just all gray writing and it says family rules dream big laugh say i love you be silly use kind words giggle be grateful share keep your promises say please and thank you help others don't whine keep calm and carry on i love this sign and i'm gonna put this next to my tv and um my mounted TV on, on, on my wall in my family room. So this one is gonna go in there. And I just thought this was so pretty and I could not pass it up. And this is my very last piece, guys. This is another huge picture. Um, this one says, but as for me and my house, we will serve the Lord, Joshua 24 and 15. This picture is awesome because it explains my household so well. As for me, as for me and my household, we will serve the Lord. I have no judgment against anyone else, but as of my household, we serve the Lord. And yeah, amen, amen. So yes, this one has a more has has a blue um, writing on it versus the gray. And like I said earlier, that I do like um, to incorporate different shades of blue, so it does not always have to be that same, you know, light teal blue or anything. I incorporate all blues, and it. I'll make it work. But this picture and that picture that I showed you just before this were both for $19.99 um, and those both came from Ross. Well guys, that was everything that I have for you today and yes, I know it is a lot of stuff and I know that this video was really long but I just wanted to make sure I showed all of you guys this this is really cute stuff before I put it up because I'm so ready to decorate. And once I get this stuff on the walls, I'm not taking it down anymore. So guys, I'm so happy you guys tuned in to watch this video. If you guys like these hauls, these different de decor hauls, please make sure that you are liking these videos. Make sure you give me a thumbs up in this video um, so I can know what other videos to incorporate into this channel for you guys. And also I wanted to uh, state the obvious, yes, I cut my hair. Yes, I cut my hair off. All of my hair is gone. But I'm gonna be coming out with a video really soon giving you guys a story of why I cut my hair and my mental health journey and the things that, you know, have been going on with me and why I came up with this idea for The Promise Mom and, you know, what led up to me cutting my hair. So be, be on the lookout for that video. It's gonna go into a deep, you know, in depth of who I am and what I am and the things that I have chose to do and why I chose to do these things. So guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys in the next video. The Promise Mom.